Alright guys, welcome to the video, and finally, I'm doing the video on the IDPS dumper. Now, um, this, what it will do is it will extract the console ID from any PS3, whether it's a fat, uh, slim, or even a super slim model. That is either on 481 official firmware or 482 OFW. So, it, the console needs to be on, of course, official firmware, and um, either one of those two, 481, 482. Those of you holding out for the exploit, the 481 exploit, there is a possibility that that exploit may work on 482, but let's wait to get confirmations from the devs to make sure that it would before you upgrade to 482. This is working for 482, so it seems like the exploit would work as well. But again, let's wait for the developers to chime in and let us know for sure that it would uh, work for 482 um, before you decide to go ahead and uh, upgrade. Um, you don't have to worry about running a risk of bricking or damaging your system um, using this uh, either. And I will be using the Windows method, and I'm going to be using uh, the MiniWeb uh, HTTP server because it's really easy, compact, um, and very simple to use. Uh, instead of any of the other methods, you can use Linux um, to do this, but I won't be covering that here. You can even use an Android device. I used my phone, and I can confirm that it works on the phone. Okay, um, but you still need a way to get a file over into a USB so you can put it into the PS3 and then once it dumps the console ID, you're going to need a way, if you're doing this via your phone, you're going to need a way to get the data out of the USB and into your phone because you need to run it through a hex editor. So maybe at some point down the road I'll cover that, but for now we're just going to do it on Windows and I am running Windows 7 64-bit. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Um, first thing is I'm going to put a link in the description that will take you here to the HXD um, hex editor. You can use any one you want, but this is the go-to one for many. Just scroll down here to where it says download page, click on there, and then you will go to your preferred language. And uh, if you just want to download it to your PC, just go ahead and click download per HTTP and uh, of course uh, install it. When you install it, you also may want to run it, install it as the administrator. Um, next thing is I'm going to put a link to PSX Place where it will take you to the IDPS dumper uh, page and you can go ahead and select uh, which zip file to download. If your PS3 is on official firmware 481, then you'll pick the 481 and then up here is the 482 OFW zip file. So download the one that you're going to be needing. Now the other thing I will have down there is a link um, so that you can go ahead and download the mini web. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and paste. When you paste that link into your browser, it will take you straight to the page and it will begin to download automatically in a few seconds. Okay, so now that we have all that downloaded, let's head on over to our desktop. I'm assuming that you've already installed your hex editor. Let's go ahead and let's open up the mini web zip file. I'm going to go ahead and drag it here. Okay, and let's close the zip. Now I'm going to open up the PS3 IDPS dumper zip. Okay, now it's open. Now this is what I'm going to do just to save some time. While the zip file is open to the dumper, let's open up the mini web. Okay. So here's the mini web folder. Let's go into htdocs. Okay. And then you're going to delete the index.htm file. Let's go ahead and delete it. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this htm folder from the IDPS zip. We're going to transfer it over to here. And we're going to transfer the index.html onto there. Okay, and that's it. That's all the files you need from here. So now your mini web should have the HTML folder and the and the index.html um, file. All right. Now the only thing we're going to do here is we're going to go um, back um, into the root of the mini web folder, and here on miniweb.exe, you're going to right-click on it. Let's go to Properties. You're going to go to Compatibility. 
and then you're going to click on the run this program as administrator and make sure the box is check mark and you're going to hit apply and then OK because it needs to run as the administrator. So we're done with that for now. I'm just going to put it off to the side. Let's move on to the next step. Oh, and one more thing before I forget, guys, and we move on to the PS3. Um, you need to go ahead and transfer uh, the HTML folder. You need to copy it, actually, over to your USB. So go into your USB. You have plugged into your PC. We're going to go here into htdocs of the mini web, and then we're going to copy this whole HTML folder just as it is. The one that we put in there, we are going to copy it over to our USB. Now once it's copied over, go ahead and safely remove it, and then you're going to put it into the right USB port of your PS3. And yes, I made a picture, and yes, I even circled it, because some people are going to be saying, oh, it's not working, what am I doing wrong? Uh, it goes into the right USB port, guys. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and let's move on to the PS. Okay, so now we got the PS3 up and running. Now let me show you here that this is an OFW PS3. There are no modded folders there. And if we go to system settings and system information, you can see that this is on 481. Okay, what we're going to do now is head on over into the internet browser. Now, when you log into the internet browser, and by the way, you do need to be uh, connected all right, to, um, to your network in order for this to work. And it's preferred that you have a wired connection. But if you're going to use this via Wi-Fi, of course, make sure that your Wi-Fi connection is strong. So once we are at the internet browser, let's go ahead and go in it, and you will probably be taken to the PSN main page or the startup page, whatever you want to call it. That doesn't matter. What we are going to do is we're going to set this up so that it opens up a blank page like it is right here. Okay, so what we're going to do is once you go into the browser, let's go ahead and go up to tools. Let's scroll down to home page and you are going to select use blank home page press X and then you it's gonna change up here it's gonna say about blank and then once it does that let's hit OK now what I do um, in addition is that I go back I hit triangle I go back to tools and I also hit delete cookies and then I select yes then I come back I select delete search history a search history and I say yes and then delete cache and say yes so once you've done all those three things I go ahead and I escape out of the browser and then you can go back in it now I kinda have OCD so what I did at this point is I turned it off and then I turned the PS3 back on but I don't think that you have to uh, but you can try it out and see anyway let's go back into the internet browser okay and now it should open up to a blank page like so alright so now this is what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and come back to our PC and we're going to launch mini web alright so when you double click on mini web you're going to hit yes and you're going to get the I the host address right there okay, it's going to look like the IP address followed by a semicolon with four numbers make sure you make a note of all of these numbers including these four numbers here you have to type it exactly the way it is here with the dots and the semicolon and everything exactly the way it is here onto your ps3 um, so the way you're going to do that is pretty simple you're just here in the browser you're going to hit triangle and then um, oh i'm sorry you're not going to hit triangle you're going to hit the start button and then let's go ahead and delete this by hitting square and then we're going to go ahead and we will type the address okay now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to black this out so that way you don't see the address okay so once you have the address typed in you're going to go ahead and you're going to hit start okay and when you hit start you'll get this message and let's hit OK and then you will be presented with this screen so let me go ahead and minimize this we're going to talk a little bit about the screen and then once that happens you'll see here that um, they've made a connection with your server you're going to see some some verbiage here okay now you're going to see that I'm going to have a lot of this stuff blacked out because obviously my uh, IP and stuff are there but um, let's go ahead and talk about this page 
Okay, so on this page, you are going to have three choices on your PS3. Okay, you can move around and you can select one of them. All right, um, basically, let's call this choice one. Then we have choice two, and then here is choice three. All right, and let me bring up my visual aid here to help you guys out. All right, basically, choice number one will be is if you have a PS3 and it's this model number of ps3 it's a fat all right and it needs to be one of these the two numbers at the end don't matter so it needs to be either c e c h a c e c h b and so on c e or g all right that is when you will choose option number one now option number two you're going to go ahead and choose that when you're p when you have a ps3 fat and when it's one of these models so a c E C H H or J K L M P or Q. All right. You will also pick option number two when you have any slim PS3. It doesn't matter the model number. And then you will also pick option number two if you have a super slim PS3 that is not one of the 12 gig models. In other words, if it's when it's a 4,000 series and it will end in either B or C then you will choose option number two. You will pick option number three when, you're, when you have a PS3 Super Slim that is a 12 gig model, meaning it will end in A. So it's either a 4000 series, that's a A, a 4200A or a 4300A. All right, so hopefully that will help you guys out. Now in this case, I have a Slim, okay? And since mine is just a regular Slim, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna click Load ROP chain for NOR, and you're just going to click on the one that applies to you. Now, when you do that, um, you'll see some stuff happening on your um, on your server end here on your PC. Okay, you should be seeing some activity here and some movement. After a little while, the PS3 will beep and it should shut down on its own. Okay, and as you can see, this process was uh, pretty quick. So that's it, the PS3 turned off, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we are going to take the USB and bring it back here into our PC. Okay, so this was fairly quick. Now we're done, at this point we can go ahead and close out the mini web. Okay, we can close that and I can close out this folder. Now one of the things that's gonna happen when it shuts down is that when you turn on your PS3, you're going to get this, that the system was shut down improperly. That's fine. Just hit OK, and it will go through the motions of restoring your files. Don't worry. You're not going to lose, you're not going to damage your PS3 or, you know, lose anything vital or whatever. Um, let's go ahead and let's go to that USB that we brought over. Okay, so now if you look into that USB, here is our IDPS bin. All we're going to do is we are going to read the IDPS with the hex editor. So you can open up the hex editor and then point it here. Um, I already have my hex editor here as a shortcut, so I'm just going to open it with the hex editor. And of course, I'm going to block this out, but here is your IDPS. It's 32 digits, and um, it's your console ID from the PS. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's all that you have to do. And as you can see here, my PS3 is booted back up. That's it. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.